Welcome to Boom Chicago. This hey. is Matt Castelvi. And this is Stacy Smith. And we are going, going steady. steady. Nailed it. We finally right. said we it. We finally did it. Thank you so much, everyone uh, who bought tickets and who is watching this. Uh, this is uh, our Going Steady second show Number two. here at Boom Chicago. This is two of three. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is the Empire Strikes Back uh, show. Uh, so buckle up for this show. The Star Wars. Yes, that is a Star Wars reference. Which book. means that next week is Return of the Jedi. That is how Star Wars works. Which uh, means that all of next week I'm going to play nothing but Ewoks. You better not. Uh, <laughs> Your tiny little fairs is perfect. That's true. That's perfect. So thank you so much for being here uh, and to watch this right now. Uh, there's still time if you haven't bought tickets to purchase tickets uh, because we love that you're here, but we love your money more. Yeah. Uh, so any way you can send that <laughs> to us it would be great. Yeah, and we are uh, live streaming this. So uh, it's up on YouTube where you're watching it, but we have cameras everywhere. That's right. I this, mean, this is a multi camera experience mm -hmm. here at Boom Chicago. We have this camera backstage. We have multiple cameras on stage, uh, which as we all know, the camera adds about 65 pounds. Uh, so just we keep that in mind. We did learn that from Tuesday. Keep that in mind. I wore a red black. dress, and I had uh, a very honest friend tell me that I uh, shouldn't have worn that, and it was my mom, and that's fine. Thanks, uh, Gail. So we're all wearing black tonight, that's baby. That's right. Boom. Uh, we're so, so, so excited. Uh, quarantine has been kind of, you know, a tough situation for all of us. So Can we're you believe it? I know. Quarantine so being tough. We're really excited to laugh. I've been uh, gardening a lot and That's just right. yelling at flowers to grow, which makes me nervous about being a mom. Yeah, I've been, <laughs> this has been a fun quarantine. I, I've taken up with a new hobby uh, of sneezing at markets. Uh, oh it's uh, it's a fun it's a fun way to get some reactions. Let me tell you, especially uh, if it's a wild sneeze, which is what I like oh to do. Oh my gosh, we have been uh, socially distancing. Everyone that is here today is keeping their distance. Of course, we don't have to because no, we are right. a couple. We are a real life couple. Uh, this is my fiance, mm -hmm. uh, so we are allowed to be uh, close in touch. Although, look at it sparkle. Because my uh, my middle school teacher is watching today, we will be leaving room for Jesus. Uh, <laughs> so just keep that in mind. Your Mrs. middle school teacher is watching? Yes. Uh, Mrs. Cummings is here. Thank you so much. Uh, we'll make sure that we are appropriately oh apart. Oh, my gosh. I used to do that at school dance. Yeah, well, now we can do it here. Every sing single one of my middle school boyfriends was named Matt. How many middle school boyfriends did you have? A lot. That's Especially not. That's in too the many. Grade, I had. So, it means gift from God. What? Yeah. I. I mean, my name does. Yeah. My mat. That's, um. My too one mat now. Thank um. You. But we are surviving. Uh. This very. Uh. Carefully. I mean, I always expected the apocalypse to be a little bit different, like more fire and less sweatpants, but. Here we, are. Say, here we Who's are. Here we are. I like it with a little bit of sweatpants, personally. It leaves me room. <laughs> leaves uh, you room. Um, thank you so much for those of you who have bought tickets. If oh, you didn't, right. like Matt said, you could still do that at boomchicago.nl, or you could donate on the YouTube that you're watching right now. But we want to give some special shout outs. Shout out time. Shout out time. Buckle up. Um, mm. Because there's uh, so many different price points. That's a dab. There's so many different price points uh, on here um, so that we can uh, find out who's rich and who's not rich yes, and right. that's very exciting God bless um you. someone that bought an expensive ticket and perry wetzel and perry in the house one of what matt's up, college Ann? friends that which is my college friend and perry we wetzel love that extra from st support. louis shout out to st louis go redbirds it's the first time anyone's ever shouted out st louis without screaming i'm shot um, <laughs> um, ooh, too, <laughs> too soon. Take that, St. Louis. That's right. I'm doing fire in this show. Um, we have a bunch of people that that have bought obstructed view tickets, which is uh, where you take a piece of paper and you put it in front of your screen. Yeah, it's a um, cheaper ticket, but we ask you to do most of the work. Exactly. So we have a few uh, friends that have done that. Grania, which is a, I'm assuming is an Irish name. Grania, James Jones. Grania. James Jones. If your middle name is Earl. And you are James Earl Jones. You can then you to buy are a right on brand for this Star Wars themed show. Um, Morella, only one name. It's like the Beyonce Ella, of obstructed Ella, view. Eh, eh. Um, oh, okay. Get this, babe. What? Tice Xavier. Tice Xavier's the the rapper. 
Is that a rap name? No, I have no. Oh. It sounds like a rap name. This Yo, is, Ty Savior. This is very mysterious because they not only purchased one obstructed view, but they ob they purchased two obstructed view That's tickets. Thinking. That's good work. Which is, then you just put them together and then you get one regular ticket. That's amazing. So instead of buying one ticket, you bought it for, I assume, you and someone else to both watch in an uncomfortable way. But we appreciate you nonetheless. Ty um, Xavier. Those are Love our shout album. outs. Okay. I am going to give you a tour, a little bit of the theater, and who's here making this all possible. Matt, I'm terrified to do this, but I'm gonna leave you backstage for just like a minute. Please don't break anything, and I will see you in a minute. I'm gonna visit the dark web. No, so I'm gonna see who's out here in the audience. This uh, involves a lot of people making this whole thing work. We have uh, tons of special shout outs other than the people that purchased all of those great tickets. We have Tom Clutterbuck up in the booth very far away from us on tech. Hi, Tom. Look at that wave. Beautiful. Out in the lobby, uh, very safely away from us, we have the Dream Stream Team. We are live. That is, yeah, look at all of them waving. As you can see, they are uh, quarantining themselves and self isolating from each other behind giant plexiglass booths. Looks like a scene out of a medical drama. It's very exciting. We also have where we put our outdoor clothes. So we put our outdoor clothes somewhere and then put on indoor clothes. It's finally taking the safety dance and making it sexy. We're doing a little strip tease as soon as we get here. We also have some uh, essential people, a very few a tiny little audience of people that are in the house with us uh, joining us tonight. We have Simon Lucas, who is one of our other Bo Boom Chicago cast members. And he's, uh, it's really exciting because he's actually hosting the Boom Chicago movie quiz uh, tomorrow night. Can you tell us a little bit about that, Simon? Absolutely, Stacey. So uh, tomorrow night at 8 30 Dutch time live on YouTube will be the first online Boom Chicago movie quiz. We've done a couple of quizzes here in the theatre. Now we're going online and live. So all you need to do is uh, look in the Boom Chicago YouTube uh, channel or look us up on Facebook, the, the Boom Chicago movie quiz, and uh, you'll have details there of the live stream. And that will be streaming from 8.30 tomorrow. It's free to enter, but we do ask that you do donate so that we can continue to do more of these. And so if you know your, uh, your Tina Fey from your Kid and Play, your Holy Grail from your You've Got Mail, and your Dumb and Dumber from your Wet Hot American Summer, this is definitely the quiz for you. So 8.30 tomorrow night, uh, check us out on YouTube and Facebook, and it's a comedy movie special. See you then. <gasps> that was so exciting, and there was so much rhyming involved. I love you, and I miss you so much. Fantastic. Next, we have Finn in the audience, who is our venue manager, who is making sure that everything is spotless and disinfected and clean and safe, and he knows CPR, which is very exciting. And we also have our director, Andrew, who's going to be in the live chat for the entire show. So like we said, this is improvised. So at any point, we're going to ask you for suggestions, and he's going to be fielding those and shouting them out. And Andrew! Yes, right here. We got a lot of good things already happening on the chat. Please keep that open and nearby. We need lots of suggestions throughout the day. And uh, also one thing I wanted to point out, some of the other things that we do that you might not see. We are also very active in the corporate world. We do a lot of digital events. Uh, not only are we big in real events, we're also big in virtual events. And you can check out that on our live show on our website. And we'd love to do a live show for you sometime later than tonight. But first, chat. Yes, thank you, Andrew. And last but not least, making up all of the music on the spot, our brilliant music director, Sasha Hudemacher. He's got a video special, fantastic. Now I'm gonna go check on Matt because if it's anything like home, it is a mess back there. So I'm gonna go check on him and see what he's up to. And we'll start in just a second. Matt, how you doing? Hey, Stacy, I'm doing great. I'm just having fun in the chat here, reading everybody's oh, no. chats. Uh, what do you see? Well, I see, uh, first of all, Bestel Cock is back from last show. Hi, Bestel, thank you so much for coming back. But mainly, I'm gonna be fielding an answer for Jeff, or I'm sorry, J-F-E Blitz, who wanted to know uh, why the chairs were stacked in the way that they were. Well, that's a very good question. We have put the chairs uh, to, uh, in a certain manner because that is what the Prime Minister says that chairs have to be stacked in when doing uh, a show. Thank you so much, uh, Blitz. Uh, we cherish 
your question. Okay, I think that Matt is warmed up. I know, I certainly am. Nailed it. We know that you are, so Nailed we it. are going to take the stage. Mm -hmm. Live from Boom Chicago in Amsterdam, with a closed bar, we present a comedy show with two actors and a small crew in an empty theater. A show that totally follows Dutch government rules and 1.5 meter social distancing. This is Going Steady. Please welcome Matt Castelvi and Stacy Smith. Yes! Hello! We are going steady. We are so excited. Woo! Make some noise, the three friends that are here, and make some noise at home. Okay, I trust you. I heard I them all. you did it. Nailed um, it. Fantastic. So we are going to get started right away. And like we said, this is completely improvised. So we're going to need you in that live chat giving us suggestions to fuel our energy for the show. That's Isn't right. that right? We can't do it without you. So we're just going to get started. Why not? So Matt and I are big fans of music. We love Spotify. We make different playlists all the time based on our different moods. I have a playlist of female empowerment songs. I have a playlist of quarantine workout songs that I've never listened to. Um, so we're going to need you to give us a suggestion of something that you'd love to hear us sing a playlist about. Like there are not enough songs about dogs. There are not enough songs about cats. There are not enough songs about cheese. Or there are not enough songs about this there, thing. There are not enough songs about toothbrushes. What? Toothbrushes. That is correct. And so we have a bell at each of our stations. So that we're going to ring the bell anytime we want to go to the next track on our playlist. So we now take you to the playlist, Spotify playlist, about toothbrushes. You go in my mouth by all acts of depravity And all you do for me is make sure I don't have a cavity And when I brush around with your sweet sexy head I know that all the germs and bacteria will soon be dead My best friend is here, he is the best. He is a little tiny tube of crest. I have no friends, the dentist told me so. That's why I never, never go. My! <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Mm. Yeah. I use you and you make me bleed. Why you hurt me? I brush and brush your head on my gums Just like the dentist needs Mmm oh. Hey, I'm gonna tell you something That makes me feel sublime I have committed a crime Now I'm in jail and they are really mean, so they give me this object and tell me to clean. Ah! Oh. Oh, I brushed too hard. Now I gotta throw up. Ah! Oh. It's Halloween. Thanks for this. I wanted candy, but you gave me this. Great. What the fuck am I going to do with a toothbrush when I wanted a Twix bar and Skittles? One thing they taught me to do 
that sleepaway camp Must take a toothbrush and make it into a bracelet and that's a craft You put it in front of a campfire and you mold it to your arm It's a fancy accessory, it will cause you no harm Toothbrush bracelet, that's true, I made it at Girl Scout camp Before Marissa Bukowski's mom got too mean And my mom told me to quit and then I left the Girl Scouts And it was really sad, I felt like a bad feminist But I was only ten so I didn't know what to do I was a brownie wearing a brown outfit which didn't look good on me And I had a patch and I... And Great, now we need to get a series of suggestions from you. So we need you really live in that chat. We need uh, nouns. So that is a person, place, or thing. So any of those nouns, and also if you have like a wild card idea, so something that's crazy. So either a noun or something that's crazy. We're gonna get those from Andrew in just one second. And we are going to uh, do a scene, but at any time we might not know the words. We might run out of things to say. Then we're gonna put our hand out like this and Andrew's gonna offer one of the suggestions and we're going to immediately use it in our scene. So, like I said, we need nouns. People, places, things, or just a wild card suggestion. And the last thing that we need is a relationship. Maybe like doctor-patient or mother-daughter or friends with benefits. Or, so, um, the suggestion of the relationship that we're going to start this scene is the relationship is rats. Rats? Rats. rats. <laughs> finally, Professional rats. Finally, rats. Thank oh, okay. you. I don't think we should go in there. I, don't, I just got a bad feeling. Oh, come on. I really think that we need to go in there to show how assertive and cool we are. Last time we didn't win in for cheese, we came back one rat alone. Oh, come on, Gus. Gus. We got eaten by that cat. I swear, I seen them. You didn't see him get eaten, that's just a rumor. Then what happened to him? I don't know what happened to him, but I just I just know that we need to get in there and we need to eat. So you're saying he didn't get eaten by a cat, what did he get eaten by? A globe? A globe? Like a, some sort of globe that you could see the world from? What are the odds of that? It's ridiculous. I know that does sound ridiculous now that you now that you say it, but I just have one dream and it's to go out there in that apartment and get the cheese that I need. I would trade anything. I would trade my Ta Tarzan. Tarzan. You would? You're Tarzan? Oh uh, Don't yeah. waste it. Don't waste it. Save it if you're gonna have it. Okay, All him right. Tarzan. Right. Me, Me Jane. Jane. Yeah. All right. But if I go out there alone. And I don't come back. I would never let you go alone, Gus Gus. No, listen, if, listen to me. If you listen to me. <laughs> if I come back alone. <sighs> I, if I come back alone. Honey. I want you to have my Pope. Pope. He's a holy I, man. I told you. He's the rat Pope. We he have, controls what we do here on Rat Earth. I, I want you to have him. Gus, Gus, I told you, you have your Pope and I have my Pope. Wait, what are you, Rat okay. Jewish? I didn't know. Yes. All right, I'm we Rat Catholic. We believe in different things. Know, that's what I do. Listen, Gus, Gus, I'm going to go out there with you, okay? I'm going to put on my mask and I'm going to get my... Hell. Help. You're going to get help out there? I'm going to get some of the other rats. There's other rats? You've been hanging out with other rats? I've been hanging out here alone. I've been just playing with my USB cable. My USB cable. I don't know which way is the way. I know, and it's almost the same size as you. It's huge. I'm like trying to plug it in. It's a really fun game of plug in and not plug in. All right, you go first then. Whoa, 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 what? What? Yeah, I mean, go first. I'm not going to okay. be the one out there. Well, if I go first, then, then you have to make sure that I... Hit my submarine. Hit my submarine. I need to hit my target like a battleship. We need to sink that person in Don't that Don't use living your room. World War II lingo on me. It was the toughest war I ever fought I in. know! Don't you think I know that? Thousands of rats died in that war. <laughs> Literally thousands. thousands. I remember my grandfather gave me a... Taylor. Taylor. He said, put this by your Pope. And then in case of emergency, you'll have a rat suit to wear. 
No. For your funeral. Don't say it. He what? died later that spring. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Gus, Gus, you never told me that story. You always tell me the story about... The Rubik's Cube. The Rubik's Cube. And how you jumped on it and you... It's, and I, it's a crazy story. I jumped on I, it and through a series of shifting, I was able to, what I assume, solve it. I cannot see colors. I believe in you, Gus, Gus. I know I've never told you that before. You could tell me anything. Well, I know that we believe in two different popes. But yes. something that I believe in is... Bob Ross. Bob Ross. <laughs> He's going to be the one person to lead us all. Are you talking He's going to paint our future. Is he the rat version of Bob Ross, or is he regular-sized Bob Ross? Oh, rat Bob Ross. All right, now we're on the same page. I love it, man. Fuck yeah. <laughs> that scene change the game. <laughs> now, who here is familiar with the Oscars? Hmm? Should be most of you. All right, well, what you're about to see is a scene, ladies and gentlemen, that won all of the Oscars. I'm talking cinematography. I'm talking acting, supporting acting, uh, actressing, uh, and uh, makeup. So this scene <laughs> nailed all of that. So what you're about to see is we're going to do a scene, and then any time uh, Andrew sees that the scene is about to get to its mm. pivotal moment of drama, where one of us wins that actor, the scene that is played at the Academy Awards, Andrew will stop the scene uh, and then a loud say, this is their Oscar-winning moment, and we will go into that drama right here on stage. Now, the only thing I need from everyone in the chat is to write out the name of a film that does not exist. I got one. Well, we already have one. Great. What, what is it? Uh, it is That Dog Won't Walk Itself. That Dog Won't Walk Itself, Perfect. an amazing piece of film. And we're about to see that film right now in three, two. So there he is. This is your dog. Yeah, it's my new Labradoodle. What's the problem with it? It's not walking at all. I know. He doesn't want any exercise. Every time I try to take him out, he scurries back in. You try kicking him? Why would I kick my dog? I don't know, man. I don't know what kind of options you had. No. I tried to get one of those dog walking services, but no one wants to do it in the quarantine. What you got to do is make sure your dog knows that you're the alpha. Does it know that? Let me see. That you're the alpha? Let me see. A, um... You gonna talk to it like a person? Yeah. Just... Scoot. Scooter. No, you're right. You're right. Oh, well, you shouldn't have got on his level. That's number one. Well, I was, I was just trying to... You, why you get on? You gotta be the alpha. You gotta be above the dog. Okay, Freeze. Yeah. She explains why that's so hard in her Oscar-winning moment. I've tried to stand above Scooter before, but he won't have it. He's a labradoodle. He's a big ass dog. He jumps right up onto my shoulders and pushes my ass down. This dog is a leader. He knows what he wants and he tells me what he wants. I try every damn day. I wake up, that labradoodle is at my feet in bed and he has a coffee cup and he tells me it's time for coffee. This is the smartest damn animal I've ever seen in my entire life and every single time I try to show my leadership skills or I try to show that I am an alpha, he knocks me down. This dog is a bully. My dog is bullying me and I feel like it has a lot to do with the fact that I am a pushover. I I am letting this dog push me down. I am losing it. You have no idea. Andy, Andy, this dog is a bully. You need to go through anti-bullying training, Scooter. My Lord, Andy, why? <laughs> the dog bought coffee? The dog bought coffee. It bought you coffee and rang it? Folgers. Really? Yeah. Who's able to make coffee? Yeah. It's well, then an there's your problem dog. right there. Your dog's the alpha. You've let the dog be alpha. How do I get around I, it? Listen, I got cats. I don't know nothing about getting dogs. Well, Andy, what do cats do? What, they do lots of stuff. They can purr on cue. 
They can on cue. On cue. Andy, you tell your cat purr, and your cat purrs. Yeah, like that. It's a. It's amazing. That's why I don't get. I don't fuss with these dogs. Freeze. He explains why cats are so fantastic in his Oscar-winning moment. My father gave me a cat when he left us. He said, boy, here, take this. It's all I'm leaving you. I said, Paul, where you going? Where you going, Paul? What are you doing? I want you. I want a father. I don't want a cat. And he said, no. And he spit on me. <laughs> and he left the house with me and my 15 brothers. All of them younger than me. They were only looking up to me. I knew if I held this cat and gave it love, that I could give that same amount of energy to my brothers and my family would live. And that was the lesson that my father was giving to me. He wanted me to be a man. And only once you become a man can you lead an army of animals behind your back into the world and take over this planet the way that you need it to be and to mold it within your hands and to tell the cat on cue to purr. That's what I did. That's what I aim to do. Andy, I had no idea you had 15 brothers. It's a lot. It's a lot of That's kids too many in the brothers. house. Yeah. We, we, my dad really wanted a girl uh, bad. Yeah. And, like, he just kept knocking them out. And then, them, then when baby Sean came along, he's like, I'm out. And he had a cat. And he just he was like, here's a cat. Uh, I'm like, so sorry. He was not a bad guy. I mean, he like, spit on You said he spit on you. He spit you. on me, but he spit when he talked. So that, was, that could have been anything. Yeah. He was, he was Dutch, uh, so, yeah, he like, you know, you know, it could have just been his language. Uh, but anyway, so I hope that was helpful in you and your dog advice. Yeah, I feel like I've learned a lot. I feel like I need to just assert my... Your, your dominance, that's right. My dominance, like with Whoa. you. Whoa! Like with you. I, oh, follow Sit you. Sit down! Well, hello. Roll over. On the, on the couch? <laughs> on the couch. All right, woo -hoo. Big. Please. Freeze. No. She sings her Oscar winning song about her newfound dominance. And he joins in, and it's a perfect duet later. Oh, God. Damn. Finally, I found the one for me at the pound. I'm breaking you free. Tell you what to do, and then it becomes your So get on your knees, kiss my face. I have to lean up slightly. Wonderful. Wow. <laughs> what art. Now, if you're watching this again, God bless you. You are a hero. You remember a Tuesday show. This was the t part of the show where Stacy quizzed me on our relationship. Yeah. And if you saw that show, I got two out of five correct. Uh, but I, uh, I'm, I'm And he slept I, on the couch. That's not fair. Uh, so this is my show now. Uh, so I have questions. <laughs> 
uh, that pertain slightly to our relationship uh, that I think Stacy should answer right now. These are five questions that she should know the answers to. I know uh, everything about you. You know, uh, some of these questions are not just about us, though. There, uh, you'll see, uh, because this, ladies and gentlemen, is the segment known as Matt asks Stacy stop. <laughs> or no, oh, that's that's kids revenge. That's right. I'm. <laughs> I, that's how you know it's improv. Uh, <laughs> all right, so for this first question. Okay, I'm ready. This is the first question of five. Okay. All right, so Stacy, you know, of course, that m one of my favorite movies is The Lord of the Rings. I wish that was the question. No. <laughs> so in The Lord of the Rings, there is a, a pivotal wizard character. <laughs> what is the name of that wizard character. <laughs> Gandalf. That is correct. Yes! I had to, now, I now had for to an think. extra bonus Woo! point to that, what, I've do, never seen what it. do you usually think Gandalf's name is? Can, Dumbledore? Dumbledore! <laughs> I wasn't sure if it was... Dumbledore is who you usually I've think. I've never seen Lord of the Rings. That is why it's funny. <laughs> now, Star Wars, uh, as we all know... Wait, so the answers are the things you know I'm going to get wrong. We'll see. Now, Star Wars is uh, um, a movie that Stacy claims that she loves uh, so much. Uh, and so many of the people in the chat room love it as well. Uh, her favorite character, of course, being Jar Jar Binks. Oh, my God, now, don't say that out loud. <laughs> Now, I, Stacey, I just don't, I'm not bothered by right, him. <laughs> okay. Now, the villain in Star Wars, as we all know, is Darth Vader. Uh -huh. Who is Darth Vader's boss? Um, oh, I know this. Um, well, it depends on what his name is, because different movies, he has different names. Oh, well, let's see what you it's say. It's like Senator Palpatine and Emperor Palpatine. That is right, Emperor yes! <laughs> Palpatine. I didn't know I would get that. Oh, my God. And great. don't tell everyone I like Jar Jar Binks. That's she controversial. She loves Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> That's a fact. Now, this is a relationship question. Now, we'll get Good. back into something that you uh, might remember from our history. Uh -oh. uh, on one of our uh, many dates early on, we went to uh, an EDM concert. Uh, and after that EDM concert, we had to leave prematurely. Oh, no. What was the reason we had to leave prematurely? I like... I had like a bout of vertigo and I threw up while riding my bike. And what kind of uh, throwing up did you do? Scream puking. Yes, or scream vomiting. <laughs> scream vomiting. I know all these. It's good. I, the lights were very intense and I love going to his concerts. It sounded a lot of like this. <laughs> and vomit. I, I swear to God. I'm a very, very loud vomiter. Fun okay. fact. I'm right. so embarrassed. Two more questions. Okay. All right, so. You said I puked and you said the thing about Jar Jar Binks. And that's a fact. Okay. Uh, so, question, all right, the next question. Okay. Now, many people know that my favorite article of clothing is uh, an Adidas jacket uh, that I like to wear uh, okay. that I recently bought. When I wear this jacket, what affectionately, culturally insensitive <laughs> nickname uh, do you call me? Um, I don't know. Like, say it. I usually say like, hey, Vinny Cucuts. I said Tony Cucuts. Okay. <laughs> Tony Cucuts. I'm even sorry. <laughs> it's the know. culturally insensitive okay. Italian nickname that I am oh given when wearing an Adidas jacket. This is not write a your <laughs> write Stacy <laughs> at Stacy Elizabeth Comedy uh, at Gmail. Okay, that's right. not my email. Now, this is the last question. Okay, but okay, for so the record, I put things that were like, nice, you're putting things that I'm getting right but are making everyone think <laughs> that I'm a terrible person. Payback this is a bitch. No. Uh, now, <laughs> now, all right, so Stacy, of course, in a relationship, there are many things, pet peeves that people have among oh each other. Uh, and pet peeves being things that annoy you uh, and whatnot. What, uh, and at home, at home, what is the number one thing that annoys you about me? Oh my God, that's like a million things. <laughs> is it something that I say like the most? Sure. Is it say, something I say a lot in the Netherlands? Uh, that's up to you. Um, that you 
have too many clothes everywhere. Wow. I'm sorry. The correct answer is nothing. He's perfect. No! Wow. I'm sorry. It says it right here. I hate you that so was a much. layup, and you <laughs> fucked that up. So. Great. I feel good about that. And I am a good person, and I want you all to know that at home. Now we're going to get a, a, a ton of suggestions in that live chat. So some things that we're going to need are movie quotes, some of your favorite movie quotes. And we have a movie quiz tomorrow night. You're welcome. Um, so movie quotes, something like, I'll be back or get in the chopper, but neither of those. Any kind of movie quote that you absolutely love. And it doesn't have to be super obvious. It can be something that is specific to you. Um, then we need maybe some lyrics from songs, but not the title of songs. So not Hakuna Matata, but maybe something like, it means no worries. So some kind of lyric from a song. And the third thing that we would love is uh, something that you would love to shout out loud, maybe in a room full of strangers, maybe something that you can't shout now because you're at work if you're in the United States, or uh, that you just don't feel comfortable saying out loud, but you feel comfortable typing. So to review, we want movie quotes, we want lyrics from songs, but not the titles, and we want things that you uh, would never say out loud, but you get to type right now. And uh, we're going to get those from Andrew right now. Andrew! Yes, okay. Yeah, they're coming in fast and furious on the chat. I'm going to read them out. You write them That's down. A movie. Let's start with Like a Glove. Got it. Okay. It's not a tumor. It's not a tumor. I said no more Arnold Schwarzenegger, but fine. It's not a tumor. Mm -hmm. How about uh, Where's My Money? Got it. Where's My Money? Never give up, never surrender. Never give... Oops. Never give up, never surrender. Mm -hmm. uh, how about simply trust me? Trust me, I will. I. Uh, Hendrik I van Etherson in Dutch says poop. Poop? Poop. Poop. That's it, poop. Oh, it is poop. Yeah. Poop like poop. Poop like yeah, poop. Yeah. Like a poop. poop okay, like I got poop. poop. Okay, I know. Uh, she's so lucky, she's a star. Got it. <gasps> Brittany. She's so lucky, she's a star. Her Instagram is terrifying right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Britney Spears, if you do People that. forget that I'm black. <laughs> okay. I'm going to immediately regret that people forget. We didn't start the fire. Got it. We didn't start the fire. <laughs> it was started by others. Don't you wish your girlfriend was hot like me? How dare you. <laughs> um. Don't you wish your girlfriend... Oops, I forgot to write that. Okay. Was hot like me. Yep. Okay. Uh, on Wednesdays, we wear pink. Got it. <gasps> mean Girls. Okay. You, you need a couple more? Yeah. Let's grow old together and die at the same time. Oh, oh my God. I've actually said that to Matt before. Yes. You <laughs> say, it sounded like this. Hey, Tony Cacoots. I <laughs> Baby <laughs> got sass. Let's grow old together and die at the same time. Baby got sass. Baby got sass. Now we're talking. Okay, I think that's good. That's perfect. Thank you, Andrew. Give yourselves a round of applause at home for all those applause great suggestions. Fantastic. Now what we're going to do is we're going to spread these all over the stage, and at any time during the scene, we can reach down, pick one of them up, read what your suggestion is, and use it in the scene. And Andrew, could we just have another suggestion of anything that you got in the chat there to get us started? I'm tired, boss. I'm tired, boss. I'm tired, boss. Fantastic. Hey, Mr. Gorski, I, I'm just not feeling great. Uh, I, I think we're going to go home for today. Okay, but that's, uh, you've been doing that a lot lately. Well, it's just, I know, I'm, I've been real tired. All right. You know, I, I got a newborn at home. and he, A new been, what? A newborn. Oh. A child. Yeah, no, you said... I a, have a child at home. You said home. a newborn. A new, yeah, it's just... I, I, yeah, I'm just so tired. I'm not thinking straight, I yeah, guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, can't, can't someone else, you know, make sure all these chickens are up to code? Yeah, I guess other people can. It's just, uh, I don't, I don't want to put What you is in, it, Mr. Gorski? I don't want to put you in this situation, but... What do you mean? It's just, I bumped into your wife last week at the grocery store and... Veronica? Yes, your wife, Veronica. What did she say? Well, I told her congratulations on the baby, and she said, what baby? Like a glove. 
that was what I told her to say. Because I don't want anyone in the supermarket to know that we're with child or have had a child. Why? Because there's a lot of gossip in a supermarket, and so I don't want that to happen. So well, that I know. So that fits perfect. Yeah. Hey, uh, some just a little piece of advice what? for your next job, okay? What do you mean, my? You're firing me? You're fired. Just like that, because I'm tired today and asked for a day off. But you've asked for a day off every single day last week, and I just where's my money? You owe me money from Listen, bowling three I weeks ago. I told you it was stolen by a ghost. That's not. He came. It was. Woo, I, he was a bed sheet and everything, man. You're. you're I swear to God. I swear to God it was a ghost. Your excuses are getting crazier and crazier, okay? We need someone to make sure that these chickens are up to code. The chickens can wait. I Listen, I got a baby at home. I got a ghost haunting me. None of me. those are true. She's so lucky. She's a star. This ghost. She's a star. She's, it's, uh, it's the late Bette Mittler, who didn't die, but <laughs> who is like a Bette Mittler impersonator as a ghost. Is I any of the, did you believe me? I mean, first you have you gotta a, believe me. A newborn, a ghost. ghost. Trust me. Those are things that you say to me. How am I supposed to trust you? Okay, it's excuse after excuse. You don't see me saying excuses. You think I want to be a boss? You think that I want to be here always shouting, it's not a tumor? Well, People, what is it? It's gigantic. It's, it's just right now. It's just a, it's a benign cyst. It looks like you got a unicorn's horn well, out of there. Well, doesn't that make me special? I guess. It's just like, you'd be surprised how many people think it's a tumor. It's very tumor-like. It's not a tumor. It looks like a it's tumor. It's not a tumor. Well, I'll make sure everyone on the floor knows it, all right? Please. But if I'm fired, then I'm not going to defend you anymore, okay? <laughs> People forget I'm black, all right? And I'm not, and I don't I have to keep reminding, I have to keep reminding them you... that they're, that I'm black, all right? A strong black man. And they keep, they're like, huh? They're a forgetful crowd. Just give me one second. That's, just please. It's just the last straw. Never give up. Never surrender. So my next job, I shouldn't give up? Well, I'm not giving up here. No! Sorry. Uh, your, your horn was Watch poking. My horn. Uh, I'm not giving up then, all right? I'm going back out on that floor. Don't you dare go I'm up doing to those a, chickens. If I'm tired, I don't care. I'm going back out there. Don't you go up to those chickens. Mr. Gorski, please! On Wednesdays, we wear pink. Oh, it's Wednesday. Damn it. Uh, <laughs> it's just another rule that you've broken, okay? Yellow? What kind yeah. of color is yellow? It's, it's, in, it's in the rainbow. It's, in the, like, it's like the third one. That is true. That's why for yellow? You think you could just wear yellow? You think you could just be a walking cold play song? I am who I am, okay? I'm strong, I'm proud, I'm a father. Don't you wish your girlfriend was hot like me, Mr. Gorski? Don't you wish that? That's a sensitive subject. You got an ugly ass girlfriend. Hey! Mr. Whoa, I'm sorry. Oh, she is not ugly, okay? She's mannish. She, she looks like me. She is beautiful. We didn't start the fire. Then who did, all right? Because it's been going on in, you know, the break room for like a week. Yeah, but we didn't do it, okay? Our beautiful, romantic, we started a different kind of fire, okay? We started a love fire. It's different, and we are both very good looking. This tumor, and it's not a tumor. Oh, this, I'm sorry. This cyst and her face that has masculine features, but small. It, that's not the point. Mr. Gorski, I'm going to cut you off. Now listen, if you don't want me here, I don't want to be here anymore. Anyway, Good. All right? I just want you to know before I leave, baby got sass. <laughs> Okay, so we want to remind you now that you can still buy tickets for this show. You can do it at boomchicago.nl or you can donate on our YouTube link. And there's all different price points, but we like to celebrate those who give us the most money. So we have a very special guest who has paid to be a part of our show. That is status. Uh, Andrew, who do we have? Um, yes, uh, we have a person. His name is uh, Julian, and he lives in Amsterdam. 
Okay. <gasps> Julian, it's that Julian. Oh, fantastic. Hey. Hello, Julian. Julian is actually one of Hi. our Boom Academy students. Hello, Julian. Hi. Can you hear and see us okay? A bit disappointed about Jar Jar Binks, but I can hear <laughs> you well. <laughs> It's a hundred percent true, Julian. I okay. swear, it's a hundred percent true. No, it's not. I like. She, she I told like me Yoda. it on many occasions. I like Yoda and Porgs, so whatever. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, Julian, uh, I don't appreciate that you said that, but I will still talk to you because you've paid money. So, um, uh, <laughs> tell me a little bit about yourself. Uh, what? Where are you uh, from? Do you live here in the Netherlands? Yeah, originally from France, born awesome. in Paris. Bo born in France. What part of France? Paris. Paris. Gay Paris. Gay Paris. Fantastic. And uh, tell us a little bit, what's your favorite thing about Paris? Like when you go home, what do you love to do? Uh, I like to find the right spots that look like a French movie. So like if you go near Montmartre, it feels like you're in the Amélie movie. That's oh really cute. That's so romantic. Oh my God. I wish you were that romantic. Wow. Ooh, I, get it. I can't get it off because my fingers are too fat because of quarantine. Um, great. And what do, you, what do you do for a living, Julian? I write software. You write software. Great. I know what that means. And Matt knows what that means. Um, but for those viewers outside that doesn't know, don't know exactly what that means, what exactly, uh, what does an average day look like for you? What does writing software mean for you? Uh, usually I wake up, have a meeting where I talk about what I'm going to do today with my team. And then I spend most of my day on the computer writing code so that computers will run those programs and make money for us. Writing code that makes programs that will make money for you. So you're very important, which is why you have this ticket. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, great. And uh, what is something that you love to do for fun, Julian? What do you do in your spare time? Usually partying. Partying. All right, yeah, my clubbing. man. Uh, what kind of partying? Well, you live in Amsterdam, so uh, clubbing uh, and stuff like that? Preferably techno, but techno. disco is also fine. Awesome. Sounds great. Uh, thank you. I want you to stay right there, Julian. Stay exactly where you are. So Matt now is going to put on noise-canceling headphones. He's going to put on these headphones, and Sasha is going to be playing loud live music in those headphones so that he can't hear anything that we're saying, like that I don't actually want to marry him. Can he hear that? No. <laughs> Great. So, um, uh, Julian, I need to get just a few suggestions uh, from you because Matt is going to be guessing these things. So, Julian, what I need from you is what is, uh, you know, we're in the time of all of this coronavirus and we hope that there's a cure that we could implement right away. Um, but I want you to think of uh, something that you wouldn't normally think would be a cure. Um, like you could cure it by petting a cat or what's something, what's like a, a made up cure for coronavirus that I hope is uh, riding roller coasters riding a roller coaster fantastic great so oh man if it was that easy riding a roller coaster great and um, if you were to go to a specific location mm -hmm. uh, like underneath mm -hmm. the Eiffel Tower or on top of a mountain where would you find the cure it could uh, be in a small village in the north of Italy in a small village in the north of Italy. Great. So you can, the cure is riding a roller coaster in a small village in the north of Italy. Very specific. And finally, um, who is a celebrity that you would love to find the cure with? Um, maybe someone that you'd love to be quarantined. Like oh, me. Jason Momoa. Jason Momoa. Aquaman. Yes. Oh, my God. He's so hot. And oh, my God. Who's I've seen Jason so many. Momoa? Jason Momoa. Aquaman. Uh, he's Aquaman. And he's also in Game of Thrones. He's Dothraki, which is a horseman. Oh, man, super jacked and super hot. Amazing suggestions. So just to review, uh, the cure is riding a roller coaster. The uh, location is a small village in the north of Italy, and it, you would do it with Jason Momoa. That's amazing. Julian, thank you so much for your time. We really, really thank appreciate you. you. We will talk to you soon. Mwah. Yeah, bye-bye. Fantastic. Bye. Great. So now I am going to tell you to take off your headphones. Great. What are you listening to in there? I'm listening to the Game of Thrones theme. 
Yeah. Woo! Fantastic. Great. You can take those off. You can go ahead and grab that. Matt is going to guess all of the suggestions that we just got from Julien. Um, and if he is close, we want you at home. We, and in here, we want you to ooh and give a little golf clap if he's on the right track so we know that he's uh, guessing in the right direction. So what does that sound like? Ooh. Ooh, I can hear that a little bit louder in here. Fantastic. And if he gets it right, I want you to scream and shout and hoot and holler. And what does that sound like? Ooh. Fantastic. We now take you to this press conference. Thank you, Mr. President, Dr. Fauci. You are both brave and strong. All uh, right, now uh, I'm here, of course, uh, it is me, uh, Julian. Uh, you might notice, uh, I, yes, I am incredibly French, uh, but I want everyone here to know that it is because of my hard work uh, here uh, in the Netherlands that we have uh, on the verge of figuring out how to cure COVID-19. Now, this is a very brand new uh, experimental treatment that we uh, are using. We're not 100% sure, but it seems like this is the cure for the coronavirus. I'm willing to take any questions. Uh, that Dr. Anyone Julian, in Dr. Julian. Yes, yes, Dr. right Julian. here. Dr. Julian, yeah, um, do we need to, would you say we need to buckle up? Uh, yes, because uh, th that's a very good question. Uh, the worst is yet to come. So if, for, if you're driving a car, uh, make sure that you strap in uh, your youngest first, uh, and then yourself, and that will get us Dr. through Julie, this Dr. pandemic. Julie, yes, Julie, in the uh, back. Yes. Uh, but would you think that this cure will be a, 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 a tiny cure, or will it be a Goliath? Well, uh, it's a big cure. It's a big cure, uh, and it's worthy of David uh, from the Bible. He could have used this cure. No, never. Don't worry Dr. about the Bible. Julian. That's, Dr. Julian. That's Dr. irrelevant. Dr. Julian. That's irrelevant. Dr. Yes, in the in the back, right here or right here. Uh, yes, um, you've been looking for this cure for some time, yes. you know, and uh, there's been some ups and some downs. You've gone round and around trying to find this cure. Are you happy that you finally found it? I'm, I'm ecstatic. Um, uh, when I got home, I, I talked to my wife. We did a, a series of calisthenics uh, and jumping jacks, uh, which is common in uh, a French household. Uh, so that Dr. is Julian, not about it. Yeah, in the back over here. Yeah. Dr. Julian, I know that you feel like celebrating and throwing your hands up and going, ah, but isn't it too soon to pull out the corkscrew? Uh, sure. I mean, what we do know, listen, these are all great questions. What we know about COVID-19 is the number one thing that, uh, that it hates is amusement. Uh, and it hates, oh. it hates, yeah, I know, Julian, I know, it Dr. hates Julian. amusement in all sorts and parks. Dr. Go Julian, ahead. we know that you represent so many of us. Is that the reason that you have six flags in the background of this press conference? <laughs> Those flags are to commemorate the brave heroes who went up, 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 and then way down and screamed during this virus. Uh, we don't want the virus to, to go all the way and meet a peak and go down. No, because the virus can be cured, ladies and gentlemen, by riding a roller coaster. Woo! Yes! This means a lot for anyone in the Disneyland area or who is near Efteling. All right, so if you are by then, uh, please be sure. Now, Julie, we want to make sure where this was discovered. This was discovered in an uh, not Julie, unusual place. Julie. And I will talk about those brave people. Yes, in the middle, right here. Okay, so, uh, I mean, I, I've got to be honest with you. Our, our uh, publication, we're really skeptical about this. We really thought this was going to go south. But it seems like you've done the opposite. No, right, yeah. I mean, we, this, we initially uh, looked for a cure uh, in Texas. Then we moved to Alabama. And then we went to Georgia, Dr. Julian. and Dr. Julian. then we couldn't find it, Dr. so that's Julian. fine. Yeah, in the front. I hate to bring up this uh, this personal question, but I've noticed um, that you just got a shoe sponsor sponsorship, and I really, really like uh, the tip of the the top of your boots. <laughs> Thank you. The top of your boots. My, my boot tops uh, where are Where did not, you get that? Where did I get the top of my boots? Where? Uh, I got them the Top in, of your boots. I, yes, yeah, I, I heard you. Um, <laughs> I got them in Nashville. Next question in the back. You seem to be focused on America, but, uh, you know, before it came here, it was in other places. That's right. Yes. So, uh, you know, maybe there's lessons to be learned from people that had uh, the outbreak earlier. 
Sure. I mean, it could have been. We could have made more uh, efforts. All right, if we were in South America, um, but because we moved to Italy, uh, we found it closer to Italy. But where in Italy, you might be wondering. Mm -hmm. uh, there's so many places. It, well, we we went to Milan. We went to Rome. Dr. We, Julia, yeah, Dr. in the middle. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, well, this is the thing. I mean, I mean, going to Milan, going to Rome. You know, it turned out it was not in any of these places. You know, you were thinking too big. Was I? Uh, <laughs> okay. Well, I. That's because, why we went to Venice. Uh, that's why, which is smaller. I art. really oh. love the top Italy. of your boot. Is that the top Dr. of the Julian, boot? Dr. Julian, Dr. Julian. Yeah, Dr. Uh, Julian. You know, uh, some people say that we can't solve the coronavirus uh, by ourselves. It, it, it's not one person, but rather it takes a whole... Uh, you might say, it, yeah, it takes a village. It does take Whoa. a village. Whoa. It takes a specific village not in a Italy. Not a specific village. Not a specific no, one. No, just a village in Italy is where we found it. But, but, but... but uh, it's not a big one. No, it's a town. It's a town in Italy. <laughs> no, you were... Er more right before. So it's a village. Yeah, but, but what size? What size, sir? What size? A, we found it in a small village in Italy. Where, but which part of Italy? The northern part of Italy. Yeah! How, many times, how many times do I have to say it? How many times, all right? This is the liberal media berating people in charge. All right, now, I first I want to talk about the brave people who came about this cure. I want to make sure that they are uh, acknowledged, uh, and I'll take questions about them. Right. Ooh, Ooh, Dr. 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 Julian, I mean, I know that none of us have been able to cut our hair for uh, this extended quarantine period, but I think this person really has the longest hair of anyone I can think well, of. Well, of course. So. Well, I mean, well, Secretary Whoopi Goldberg here uh, explained that we need to find somebody else, which because it wasn't her that helped, that's oh, for Dr. sure. Julian, it Dr. was Dr. another long-haired man uh, or a woman. Uh, uh, so uh, would you say that, you know, the work you did with this person that helped you, would you say it was Cal difficult or Cal easy? <laughs> oh, ah, I would say it's Cal easy uh, because uh, we, we can't, because... Amelia Clark, uh, who is the actress of Game of Thrones, Dr. Julia, uh, Dr. Is Dr. Not, wasn't here and never was. Go ahead. Uh, do you think that we've all just been horsing around? <laughs> no, I don't think we've been horsing around. Okay, listen. All right, listen. Uh, this, uh, we're, we're talking about people in my administration who are actors uh, who played in Game of Thrones. Uh, specifically season one of Game of Thrones. <laughs> now, uh, firstly, I want to just say, oh, great, I don't remember his name. Um, <laughs> but I'll take uh, another Dr. question. Dr. Julian, Dr. Julian, uh, yeah. do you love uh, Girl Scout cookies? Uh, there's different types of Girl Scout cookies, like Thin Mints, and the, what are those coconut ones called? <laughs> oh, boy. Um, probably, Johnny something. Dr. Julian, Dr. Yes, Julian, in the back. Uh, uh, I was just, just a lot of this. This is like a horror movie we're living in, and I'm wondering if it uh, reminds you of uh, Friday the Thirteenth at all. Oh, because, oh yeah. Oh, listen. Yes, of course it does because of all the murders. Uh, now, <laughs> I want to say. The death. I was talking no, about listen, the death. Listen, I don't. I don't want to hear it anymore. Okay. <laughs> all right. Listen. This is. These are the facts. All right. COVID-19 is cured by riding roller coasters. All right. We found it in a small village in northern Italy, as we know, and we couldn't have done it without the tireless work of Jason Momoa. Yeah! Thanks. His name. I legitimately <laughs> forgot Carl Drogo's name. I love him so much. Yeah, he's great. He's uh, Aquaman. Love it. That's enough. <laughs> We're going to round this off. Huh? Yeah, why not? Let's do it. Uh, now, uh, so this is unfortunately our last uh, scene of the evening. Oh, I know. I'm so sorry. Uh, I know we were that good. Now, uh, what's going to happen in this scene is uh, we're going to be uh, taking the cues from the wonderful Sasha, our musical director. We'll be doing a scene, and anytime Sasha wants, he's going to play the piano, or the keys on that piano, and we'll have to immediately go into song. Uh, whenever he stops playing the piano, we'll have to immediately stop singing the song, which will be very stressful for us, but hilarious for him. <laughs> now, uh, to get started, can I get a relationship okay. between two people? Uh, like Dr. Patient. Well, you're going or, for a location. Or a loca I'll take a location as well. <laughs> like what? Like, like a, you know, like a Starbucks or a bathroom, but oh, or a Starbucks bathroom. Uh, but neither of those. Of those. Yeah. Um, we take you to the very surreal location of the bottom of the drawer. 
What? The bottom of the, the drawer. The bottom of the drawer. Fantastic. Thank you. I think I'm going to make my break for it. What? Getting out of this drawer. I'm sick of it. Are you they've, they've forgotten me. No one's forgotten you. They forgot me. How can they forget you, Pen? Because I don't even have a cap anymore. Oh, don't say that. Oh, you could say anything you want. You're a legal pad. <laughs> You've got a million uses. You're not wrong. I'm a pen. And I might be dull. I could use you. You? Think about it. I could use you. I could use you every day. If you only had the words you needed to say. So climb on board. What are you so afraid of? I'm below and you are high above. So right on me. Right on me. Jeez. Right on pussy. me. Sorry, I've been here a long time by myself and I am getting needy. I could tell. I mean, I thought, I thought you were dating the paperclip. I thought you and him had a thing. I thought every time he put on top of you, you would put a ring. And I thought that you and the paperclip were best and best of friends. And I, a lonely pen, would have no one in the end. I need a cap for my head. I need a cap for my bottom to save myself from the world no rotten. I, I, I thought I needed those things, but... I just, well, if you're saying that this is something... Why would you put a cap on both ends? Just so you... The confusion when you... When you pull me out, you don't know where the, um, you know, what's the end and what's the bottom. Man. Pen. Pen. What? What? Get over here. Get over here. Come next to me. I will tell you all of my crazy stories. As you see on page one, yes, it was so much fun. But Paperclip is a man in my past. So you can uh, now, uh, now you can date me. So if you want to date me, now's the time. Get on my yellow body and read between my lines. Catch your ink all over. Sorry. I usually don't. I, I usually last longer. Uh, I, I just thought you were just so, you were coming on. I, I got ink everywhere. Inside. Oh, it, it's, look, it looks nice. It looks nice. It could be like, it could be like, can, can like you, Sigmund Freud or something. It could be like a beard. I don't know. Can you get some of that Purell? Yeah, I guess. Here's a Purell for, that, here it is. Here it is. You found it. It's a Purell. Thank you. All right, that's this is a great. It's a hell of a drawer. Uh, so, so yeah. I mean, I'm so sorry. I know I came on so strong. No, you did. I wanted it. All right. I mean, we're meant to be I've together. I've just been looking at you for so long. You haven't said anything though. You've been keeping quiet. It's I've been a, sitting here all alone with no one to hang out with, and it's been so long and sad. All alone, I've used my pen powers for bad. I write on the sides of the drawer. It says pen 15, which means penis. Pen 15, that is code for penis. That's my only use in this drawer I know.
Tag. Ein Kies all night live, Sascha Honemacher. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you, who, thank you, all of you who have been uh, tuning in at home. We have one more show on Saturday, and because it is completely improvised, it will be completely different based on your suggestions. So if you love the show, tell a friend. If you hated the show, it'll be different on Saturday. I am going to leave you out here again. Fine. And I'm going to go get the laptop so we could chat uh, with you guys on the uh, live chat and talk to a few of you. And uh, thank you so much, and have a good night. Bye, guys. show oh it my had everything goodness. a pen ejaculating it was for all <laughs> ages okay uh, <laughs> let's see what's going on in the chat right now yeah why not first of all thank you so much and yeah. if and if you didn't buy a ticket you still can and you can donate and all of the trump up the volume shows from last week are still on youtube so you could check those out if you want to see tuesday's show from uh going steady you could still watch that and if you didn't catch all of it if you tuned in late or for whatever reason you could still check that out that link is up Let's shout see. out to ann perry ann uh perry. from college and stacy remsing thank you so much for tuning in and to my parents who sh were going to call in but did not know how uh, so thank you so much for not subjecting us through that, Mom. Uh, that would have been <laughs> uh, so awkward to talk to Dad like that. You know uh, what my so. favorite part of this chat is? What, all the high is fives? How you can tell how there's so many millennials because there's so many clap emojis. Actually, it's only from this one guy, <laughs> Edward. Edward Van Mooster. Edward, you, thank you for all the clap emojis every single time. You're That's doing so it, man. God funny. bless you. Oh, I love it. There's so many great uh, suggestions in this chat. And we took some of them. And we took some of we them. refused to take the College bad ones. bar bathroom, that's probably too close to home Why? Because of Nicole? All right, of... thanks, Nicole. <laughs> Hollywood Bowl. Isn't that in Chicago? Yeah, it's or in Hollywood, depending <laughs> on where you bowl. Uh, I prefer to bowl in Hollywood at Hollywood Bowl. That's my new song. Oh, we have a question. When what? are you guys getting married? Are you going to change the name of the show? Yeah. It's um, well, we had a um, we have a Twitter account that's called Going Steady for Now, and as soon as we got engaged, it was Going Steady Forever. That's um, right. But. Uh, I think yeah, we're not going to change the name I, of the show. We were going to change it. I think to, we're always going to be going steady. Yeah, it was it was going to be Sex in the City, but we found out that was taken. <laughs> um, so we had so we're, we're going to stick with going steady. Oh uh, my goodness, I love this. Yep, uh, uh, pen and a legal pad. That's how we close the show. That's how we're always going to close <laughs> shows from now on. Uh, I picture it a pen with with two caps. Did you? I know you did. That's great. Oh my goodness, look at all of these friends what, in here. What, from Kasha Gottlieb? Or in G we have someone in, oh, that, their suggestion was in Nepal. A small village in the north of Italy, that's where Marco is right now, and he gave us that suggestion. That's amazing. God We're bless sending it. our love to you. My favorite thing about all of the uh, things in Italy is like the most beautiful quarantine videos in the entire world. And then all the American ones are like, my favorite one is like someone singing the beginning of Frozen 2, like, oh, and someone's like, shut up. Those are all the American ones. But all the Italy ones are so beautiful. We got engaged in Venice, Italy. We Remember, did. babe? That's right. We it's did. And like two days after we got engaged, it was under oh. like five feet of water. That's right. It's a pretty exclusive <laughs> spot. Um, that's, um, but that's Jason Momoa. He's Aquaman. We did. We got choice. engaged in Venice, which was hilarious because I had no idea it was coming. I mean, I knew we would get married because I knew the first uh, date. I was like, She um, didn't tell me. That's for sure. Um, but I had no idea because I love to tell the story. And Matt hates when I tell the story. But um, the last, he was so nervous. But I didn't, I, I didn't know at all. And the last thing that I told him before he asked me to marry him was I was telling him about a reoccurring nightmare that I had that a skeleton would eat my body and turn it into red dust. Yeah. And then he was like, "Do you want to make this a family?" I was, yeah, I was patiently waiting for her to stop telling her skeleton story mm -hmm. so that I could pop the question. I swear, this story went on forever. It, it did. It was very, very long. I just threw the ring at her. I'm like, my, "It's just, my grandma's. You'll figure it out." <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> it's partially true. But uh, there was like no nightlife in Venice, uh, which was surprising because every 
you know. person I know from Italy loves to party. Um, but we just had a bottle of wine and that was that. That's how you do it. Oh my goodness. So many, hopefully the pandemic will be over and we can, uh, yeah. And you can go to all of these shows in person. Yeah. We're hoping to be up and live soon. Um, but we have so many great like virtual events, uh, that we hope to, for you guys to check out, uh, like Andrew said earlier, um, because uh, we miss being on stage so much, so this is such a special treat for us. We're so lucky to be able to do this, and I'm so I'm gonna probably cry all of Saturday. Better night. not, man. And probably all of tomorrow too, because I'll be know that it's ending. I'll if try to be cry, strong. I'm gonna be so embarrassed. Um, but please keep up to date with Boom Chicago because all of the actors are doing fun things from home. We live in two separate houses. Matt and I live with our cast member Liz mm -hmm. and the two Simons. We have two Simons, um, and they live with uh, one of our teachers in another house. Is like the real world or Big Brother if you're from the Netherlands. Yeah. Um, so thank you so much. We really, really appreciate it. Um, consider donating, buy a ticket, and we'll see you on Saturday. Completely improvised. Tell your friends. And this is us signing off. We're going thank steady. Thank you so thank much. You. Bye, guys. Take care. <laughs>